Hi everyone, I'm Chloe, a member of Build WPS team. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can install and use our team's latest and improved plugin, Prevent Direct Access Gold. But before that, let me just briefly introduce to you what is Prevent Direct Access Gold. Prevent Direct Access provides a simple way to prevent a search engine and the public from indexing or accessing your files without complex user authentication. Okay, now let's get started. Once you purchase the plugin, you will actually receive a notification email from our team. Just click on the email and download the digital product from the link provided in the email. Once you click the link, a file will be actually downloaded to your computer. Now all you need to do is go back to your WordPress and from there go to plugin and add new. Afterwards, go to upload plugin and choose file. Now select the file that you actually downloaded just now and open it and install now. And at the end, you will see plugin installed successfully. Now remember to activate the plugin. Once you are done, scroll all the way to the bottom and you will be able to see Prevent Direct Access. Click on it and you will be asked to enter your license key. Now go back to the email just now and your license key is actually right at the bottom. Just copy it and paste it here. Press Save Changes and congrats! You are actually using the gold version right now. All right, now let's head back to media and see how we can protect the files. Over here, you will be able to see prevent direct access on your right hand side column. And all these files can be protected as long as you wish to. For example, I would like to protect visit Miyajima Sunset View, this image. All I have to do is click protect this file and a new tab will be shown. There are two ways that you actually can generate URL. The first one is you can use auto-generate new URL. So once you click it, a new tab will be shown saying that you have successfully generated a new secure URL. Another way is you can customize your new URL. For example, I can name it as Miyajima and submit. So the system will pop up saying that you have successfully generated a new URL. So in these two URLs, both of them will direct to this Miyajima image. Let's try. Click this and copy the URL. You'll realize that it will direct you to the image. How about the old image that I opened earlier? If I refresh it, you'll realize that the link can't be found it's because this image is now currently protected using the new URL. Also, you can look at the total clicks. So just now, I click once. So every time, if I click it, and I go back to the media file, and I refresh it, you will realize this link has a two count of clicks. So as long as your customers or your viewers are viewing it, you will be able to track how many clicks this image or this file is getting from your customer. So what happens when you don't want to protect this file anymore? It's very simple. Beside the copy button, there is actually a cross. So this cross stands for delete links. All you have to do, if you don't want it anymore, just click it and the system will ask you whether you want to delete this URL. Press yes. And yes, you have successfully deleted the URL. If you don't want this, just click delete it as well. So now, if you go back, you'll realize that this file is no longer protected because all the private URL has been deleted. So what happens if you want to protect multiple files at the same time? All you have to do is go to your left and you can click as many files as you want on the left and on the about action on top, click protect files and press apply 
the system will automatically protect these files using an auto-generated URL. So you can see, as long as you have a checkbox here, it means all the files are protected. On the other hand, when there is no checkbox, these files are not protected. Same thing if you want to unprotect all of them altogether, just have to check this box and under block action, unprotect files and apply. But do remember, when you unprotect the file, the auto-generated URL is not deleted. If you want to delete the URL, you have to go back to protect this file and press cross and delete it permanently. If not, all the URL will still remain to be inside, just that it won't be used unless you activate them. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find this plugin really useful. Bye-bye!